Today we're going to be taking a look at this stylish countdown technique that you can use for your own titles. Keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome to Wondershare Filmora Pro. My name is Johnny and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can pull off this really cool countdown effect. You can use this for your YouTube channel intro, your film trailer, or if you're like me you can stick to a countdown because let's be honest, we all just want 2020 to be over at this point. Before we get into it, Filmora Pro version 2.3 recently came out which includes a brand new feature called the Render Timeline Cache. To learn more, make sure to check out our tutorial on it, link in the description below. Alright, let's get into this countdown. I'm starting in a brand new project because I can simply copy this text later and paste it in a different project. I'll show you how to do this near the end of the video. To start with our graphic, we'll go and click this T icon in the viewer panel to write some text. In my case, I'll write three. I'm going to go to my text panel and choose a nice bold font. Make sure the text is set to center alignment by clicking this icon. Next, let's click the selector tool and go to the controls panel. We'll need to recenter our text on the Y axis by going to the anchor point parameter and adjusting the value on the right until the anchor point looks relatively centered. Speaking of recentering, let's recenter our text by going to the layout panel and clicking on this icon. Next, we're going to go to the controls panel and animate the scale of this text. Let's go about 16 frames into this clip and click the circle beside scale to enable keyframing. First, let's animate this text by flying in. To do that, I'm going to move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip and set the scale to a relatively high value around 2600. But depending on your text, you might need to use a different value. Now my text should fly in. Next, let's move ahead to our original keyframe and move about six frames further ahead. We're gonna make the text slightly smaller here, so I'm gonna change the scale to 92%. Finally, I'm going to move about 12 or 13 frames forward and scale this text down to 0%. Now we should have our basic animation. Now, time to smooth it out. Let's take our first keyframe and set it to Bezier by clicking this circle icon up here. Let's set our second keyframe to smooth in by clicking this icon and let's set our third keyframe to smooth out. Next, let's toggle the graph by clicking this button and we're going to adjust the curve of our animation. I'm going to drag this handle on the first keyframe most of the way down just like this, and pull the left side of the second keyframe all the way to the beginning just like this. This will make our fly-in animation a lot more dynamic. Let's also drag out the right side handle of the third keyframe to the right, which will smooth out the end of our animation a little bit more. Now your animation should look like this. Great, now let's add a couple more effects and make this animation even more interesting. First, I'm going to add a bulge effect. I'll grab one from the effects panel and drag it onto the text. We want this pincushion style distortion where everything in the middle looks pretty normal, but things get really distorted on the edges. We'll set bulge to negative 0.6, the radius to 1000, and the plateau to 33%. Awesome. Finally, let's add the chromatic aberration effect. I'll set my distance to 7%, strength to 1%, and make sure that use lens is checked. Set the lens radius to about 125 pixels, and we'll go with red and blue channels. We'll also animate our distance value by going to the start of the clip and clicking the circle beside distance to enable keyframing. Then I'm going to move forward to the point on the timeline that lines up with the third scale keyframe. This is when the text is completely flown in. Here we'll set the distance to 0%. And now the effect is complete. Finally, I want to make this a countdown, so I'm going to duplicate this clip by copying and pasting it, placing it on the second track above, changing the text on this one to say 2, and finally timing it so that it appears as the text that says 3 is disappearing. Okay. 
Repeat this one more time and you'll have a really cool countdown effect. If we want to use what we just made in a different project, one thing we could do is save this project file and use it as a template for future projects. Or we can simply copy these text elements and paste them in a different project file, just like this. In fact, you can copy and paste any type of text between projects in Filmora Pro. So, that was a look at how you can pull off this cool motion graphics effect in Filmora Pro. Do you have anything you'd like to see from us in 2021? And should I grow my hair out as long as Elliot? Because it's getting pretty long. Oh my goodness. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, there's no limit to what you can make. Bye.